Hey guys, welcome back to the Maga YouTube channel. Got a really high quality set of lights here today to review from a company called Sanlight, which are an Austrian company, and they've been producing really high end, high quality LED grow lights for some time now. This is their flagship range, the Evo range, which are um, modular lights. I have here beside me three of the Evo 5 versions and these are in uh, in and around 320 330 watts each and uh, are one of their larger size models but there are many variations of um of these models in terms of physical size and wattage which makes them very adaptable to lots of different um grow spaces one of the unique features of these lights is that they have this um lensing arrangement so they have secondary optic lenses over the LEDs, which not just protect the LEDs um, from dirt, dirt and dust and elongate the, um, the lifespan of the light, but they also direct the light downwards and uh, control the light onto the plant canopy, which is maybe not as critical in a grow situation where you have reflective walls where you don't have reflective walls and you're in an open environment, particularly larger grows, this system will um, get the, the power, get the light more effectively uh, down onto the plant canopy. As I said, they are modular and there are lots of different interesting hanging arrangements you can do with these. These models have a particular hanging system where you can tilt um, each of the bars to um, direct the light accurately onto the grow area and improve the efficiency of the system, but also to deliver a very uniform spread. So you have two uh, positions basically to tilt uh, in each angle, each direction. The LED bars can be tilted 11 degrees or 17 degrees, depending on which hole you picked in the hanger, which is a very nice um, feature. In addition, uh, with regards to spectrum, the, um, I tested the spectrum and as you can see, it's got a full spectrum, lots of blue, green and red to make up a, um, a complete um, spectrum for growing all the way from seed to harvest. But they also have invested in adding far red LEDs into the spectrum to broaden it out above 700 nanometers. Now, most LEDs will have 2 or 3% far red. And this um, the sunlight range with the additional far red has 4.2% additional um, in, that, um, in that area between 700 and 780 nanometers. So we're going to show that specifically in our power test coming up soon. For, with this range, these Evo 5s, so the higher wattage ones, 330 watts, you can mount just two of them in a 5x5. And that delivers a very, very good spread and um, uh, overall power intensity. You can see here with the two bars um, hung at each side of the 5x5 five five, but tilted inwards, the uh, total power consumed is 663 watts um, for an average power output of 687 micromoles per meter square per second. And that's a system efficiency that is dividing the total power output by the power consumed of 2.33 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is a very good result. When far, the far red is taken into account, as I said, when we broaden out that power range to 400 to 780 nanometers, power consumption is the same, but the average uh, micromoles reaching the plant canopy is 716, and with an efficiency of um, power output over watts of 2.43, which again is outstanding. For um, more skilled growers who want to really maximize their space, um, and particular ones that are using supplemental CO2 to um, take advantage of higher light intensity, I, I tested three of these fixtures in the five by five. So one down the center and two at each, at each end tilted inwards. And then that arrangement, the total power consumed was 998 watts for an average power intensity of 1,087 micromoles per meter square per second or usable PPF per watt. 
and it's a system efficiency of 2.41 micromoles per watt, which is very, very good. And the far red is taken into account. Same um, power, or same wattage, I should say, again, 998 watts, with 1133, 32 average uh, micromoles across the, um, the area, and a system efficiency of 2.55. Also, you can see an excellent spread in that configuration. So overall, these are outstanding lights. They're IP65 rated, very high quality of construction. You've got um, controls. You have dimming modules at the end here. These ones are magnetic, so you can switch them on and off using a magnetic key, um, or sorry, raise them up and down using a magnetic key. You can also get um, Bluetooth mesh versions, which are available on their websites. You can control multiple units simultaneously. Yeah, it's a, it's a really outstanding package, uh, beautifully built and very high quality in terms of um, build construction, but also performance. Well, thank you very much to Sunlight for sending them through. It's been a delight to test their lights and um, you, I'm looking forward to seeing more from them in the future. If you've got any questions or comments on um, this light or anything else that I'm doing, Please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.